Okay guys, this is the mixture of a quarter cup of, in my case, margarine, because I can't stand the way real butter tastes, at least in this. Uh, a quarter cup of flour and about seven-eighths a cup, yeah I know, of milk. I use two percent because that's just what I'd be drinking if I do have milk. Um, it should look, it should resemble mashed potatoes in consistency. Okay, now to this we're going to add a half a cup of sour cream from the previous shot. Yeah, okay. All right, here is our roux. We've taken, well, the original recipe calls for two of everything, pretty much. Um, but we're halving it, remember, because we're cooking for one. So, uh, yeah, this will be enough for me to have leftovers, definitely. But I've taken a half a cup of sour cream, um, a quarter teaspoon of ground mustard, black pepper, and kosher salt all together. Let's see, there is half a cup of sour cream. Yeah. A less than a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I threw some of that in there. Then we're going to take a little bit over a half a cup, my bad, a little bit over a whole cup of regular cheddar, just shredded, you know, and um, throw half of that into the roux. The other half is going to be tossed with the noodles. So yeah, this is getting a nice consistency and orange color here. That's what's up, definitely. Okay, now the meatloaf is in the oven. I completely, completely forgot to take pictures of that, y'all. I'm so sorry. You're going to get pictures when it comes out in about six minutes. Matter of fact, I need to check on it now because it's probably ready. I put them in, in pans, in like a little muffin tin. You can't see anything there, but oh, it smells so divine. All right. Be right back. Okay, again, the goal is enough for me to have leftovers without going overboard. Because I tend to do that, you know. But here is one cup of elbow macaroni boiled to perfection. And uh, this is a 9 by 9 A little bit over a cup of shredded cheddar is going to go right on top of here. Okay? Then we're going to mix it all up. Spoon, spoon. Where's my spoon? There it is. Oh, man, this sauce is stringy already. The sauce is stringy already. I'm geeked up. Okay. We're going to stir this cheese into these noodles. It's about to be all good. It's about to be all good. Okay. Now there's your cheese. Now we're going to take the roux and pour it over the top of here and mix some more. I got one hand. Oh, yeah. Thick, thick roux. Very nice. I see my black pepper in there. I can smell the mustard. And this is more than enough for one person. I'm going to have my mini meatloaf. I'm going to have a little uh, broccoli to go with this. Okay, be right back. All right, so there's your macaroni and cheese. What we've done is we've taken that roux, that really thick roux, and we spread it all out. We've, we've tossed it all together. It's beautiful. It's great. We love it. We've spread it out evenly over the bottom of this 9x9 pan, and we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven. The original recipe calls for like 30, 35 minutes, but since this is half, since we're half and everything, I'm going to go ahead and do a nice 20. 20 should get us what we need here for the Mac. So I'm about to pop that in the oven, and I'll holler at y'all when I get back. Okay, I promise I'm going to master this cooking for one thing. I promise I really will. All right, here's my little small muffin tin. I've got a bigger one that's like 12, but we used the 6 today. Um, I took a little bit over a pound of turkey, and I added the trinity. We got some celery, we got some onion, we got some bell pepper. I cut one open for emphasis and for, uh, for doneness. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's done, baby. Smells good. We got our essence of emerald in there. Bam. We got... Uh, bell pepper and celery and onion and oh garlic oh it smells so good i'm gonna take a bite off camera oh yeah go to see yeah that's the shit 
So, after the macaroni gets out in about a half hour, these might be a little cold, but they're hot as hell right now. So, um, it's going to be all good because like in the last couple minutes of the macaroni, we're going to pop these back in to warm them up. This is more than enough for me to have leftovers. This will be lunch tomorrow, see? Or, or dinner tomorrow night. You know, this is enough, more than enough. We're going to knock some of the ice crystals off this broccoli because if I bought it fresh, I'd never get around to using it and it'd just go to waste, so I buy it frozen. And it's just as good nutritionally. Put a little salt on it, it's going to be all good. I'm going to show you the finished plate when I get back. So yeah, there's our macaroni. It's bubbling, you can hear it bubbling. Mmm, wish you could smell it. That ground mustard, that sour cream, that cheddar cheese, baby. Okay, so I got one hand here. And I'm gonna grab my serving spoon. And I'm gonna use all this restraint. And there it is. It's cooking for one, with leftovers for like tomorrow night. Got your broccoli with the ice knocked off of it. You got your turkey meatloaf muffins, not cupcakes, muffins. Yeah, whoo! And this is the first time I cooked them in a muffin tin, and they came out pretty good. A couple of them were a little shy on the inside, so we stuck them back in for a little bit. And uh, made them nice and brown, and that's what you see there. Mm-hmm. And there's that macaroni, and when I tell you it's good, oh my god, that shit is orgasmic. So, there it is. That's not cooking with shea butter. I ain't do nothing but throw some shit together. See you next time.